Imagine you're holding a precision gyroscope and wonder if its constant spin could do more than prevent it from toppling. Could it actually twist the very fabric of space-time to send hidden signals? That's the bold claim of the torsion field hypothesis, an extension of Einstein's curved space picture that adds a new twist dimension. Torsion linked to the spin of particles and rotating bodies. How would torsion waves carry information? Proponents imagine encoding data by modulating the spin rate or orientation of a torsion generator, say a magnetized rotor, so that the resulting space-time twist oscillates like a carrier wave. A matching torsion detector, perhaps a spin-polarized crystal or a specialized gyroscope, could pick up these minute twists as changes in phase or torque. It's a bit like Morse code sent not through wires or radio, but through the twisting of reality itself. What extraordinary experiments have been claimed? In the 1950s, Russian astronomer Nikolai Kozirev reported that his torsion detectors, a set of balanced gyros and liquid metal sensors, registered fluctuations correlated with stellar events before any light or neutrinos arrived, hinting at faster-than-light information. Decades later, Gennady Shipov designed sophisticated torsion modules that supposedly detected time flow along certain axes, even claiming that shielding with special materials could block these torsion ripples. Are there any mainstream hints? While no laboratory has yet reproduced those early claims under strict controls, related ideas have surfaced in modern spintronics. Researchers have studied how polarized electron spins in materials like yttrium iron garnet can support spin waves magnons that propagate information without electric currents. Though these are not space-time torsion waves, they show that spin-based signals can travel in unexpected ways, inspiring fresh torsion wave proposals. Could Earth itself generate torsion signals? Some theorists speculate that large-scale rotations, like Earth's daily spin or the swirling core beneath our feet, might create ambient torsion backgrounds. You might imagine a future torsion receiver detecting subtle seasonal shifts in these cosmic twists, much as a seismometer picks up tiny tremors. So far, no credible detection exists, but projects in ultra-quiet underground labs aim to push sensitivity to new extremes. Why does this matter for curious beginners? Because exploring the torsion field hypothesis stretches our understanding of what space-time can do. It reminds us that beyond gravity's familiar pull, geometry might hold hidden channels of interaction. Channels that challenge us to build ever more sensitive detectors, refine our theories, and separate genuine physical effects from experimental noise, whether or not torsion becomes tomorrow's communication breakthrough, the quest teaches us the power of daring ideas and the rigor needed to test them. The extended theories of gravity propose that space-time may exhibit not only curvature, but also torsion, a geometric twisting linked to matter's intrinsic spin. In these frameworks, spinning particles serve as sources of torsion in much the same way mass energy generates curvature. The torsion field hypothesis suggests that dynamic torsional distortions, torsion waves, could propagate through space-time, separate from conventional gravitational waves, and could, in principle, carry information encoded in the twist's magnitude or orientation. Some experiments have claimed that rotating ferromagnetic disks produce faint torsion signals detectable by nearby gyroscopic sensors under specific threshold conditions, much like twisting one end of a long, narrow strip and expecting that corkscrew deformation to travel down its length rather than simple bending waves. In general relativity, Curvature describes how space-time bends around mass energy, affecting the paths of freely falling objects, while torsion measures how space-time elements twist when moved in loops. A property absent in Einstein's formulation, 
but present in gauge gravity extensions. Curvature couples to energy and momentum densities, whereas torsion couples directly to intrinsic spin of particles. The Einstein-Cartan theory introduces torsion sourced by electron spin, predicting negligible deviations from general relativity under normal conditions, akin to comparing bending a sheet of metal to twisting it like a towel, both deform it, but in fundamentally different ways. At the quantum level, particles with spin interact with torsion through modified Dirac equations that include extra spin coupling terms. These additional terms can induce tiny spin-dependent forces and energy shifts in fermions. The coupling strength is typically predicted to be extremely small, making torsion effects elusive at laboratory scales. Nevertheless, coherent ensembles of aligned spins could, in principle, amplify torsion generation if the theoretical coupling is correct. Calculations show that fully polarized electron gases and neutron stars could generate minute torsion fields affecting the star's equation of state, like having millions of tiny corkscrews all turned in unison. They could twist the surrounding medium but each corkscrew's individual twist is nearly imperceptible. Torsion field proponents propose, propose encoding data by modulating the spin orientation or density of a macroscopic source, thereby imprinting binary information onto space-time twist with a receiving apparatus such as a highly sensitive gyroscope or spin resonance sensor, detecting corresponding variations in local torsion. Unlike electromagnetic signals, torsion transmissions would interact weakly with charged matter, potentially passing through bulk material with little attenuation. However, without established torsion wave equations, the fidelity and range of such communication remain purely conjectural, akin to twisting a rope back and forth to convey a message via the twist itself, rather than by sending waves along its length. In gauge theories of gravity, one gauges the Lorentz group, naturally introducing torsion as a gauge field alongside the curvature described by the metric. Teleparallel gravity reformulates general relativity purely in terms of torsion, treating gravity as a force similar to electromagnetism. These mathematically consistent models provide formal settings in which torsion fields can propagate and exchange energy with spin sources, offering theoretical templates for imagining torsion-based signaling mechanisms, even though empirical support is lacking. The teleparallel equivalent of general relativity replaces space-time curvature with torsion while reproducing all standard gravitational predictions, like having two different maps of a landscape, one uses hills and valleys, <laughs> the other uses twisted pathways, <laughs> yet both guide you to the same destination. A handful of laboratories have reported threshold-like torsion signals detecting sudden device responses only after spin sources exceed a critical rotation rate or polarization density, suggesting a nonlinear emission mechanism distinct from small amplitude perturbations. Critics, however, find that improved vibration isolation or electromagnetic shielding often abolishes the purported signals. And until independent groups reproduce these threshold effects under rigorous controls, they remain unconfirmed. One study observed brief precession in a superconducting gyroscope when a nearby magnetized rotor spun above a specific RPM but follow-up tests failed to replicate it. Like hearing a phantom ring only when a particular appliance runs at high speed. Once the background conditions change slightly, the ring disappears. Some suggest that torsion fields not constrained by the light cone structure of metric curvature could propagate faster than light, or even instantaneously. If torsion modes decoupled from the usual causal structure, they might enable non-local signaling, raising profound causality concerns. Mainstream consensus holds that any physically meaningful torsion must still respect Lorentz invariance and propagate within light speed limits. Anecdotal reports describe receivers detecting torsion pulses before the sender activated spin modulation, hinting at retro causality, like claiming to hear a whispered secret before it's spoken. A notion at odds with our everyday experience of sound propagation. Measuring torsion requires isolating infinitesimal twists from overwhelming environmental noise. 
vibrations, temperature drifts, and electromagnetic interference. And many claimed detections vanish when laboratories employ more stringent noise controls and calibrated null experiments. The absence of standardized torsion field sensors and agreed upon protocols compounds the reproducibility crisis. And without robust and repeatable evidence, the hypothesis remains in the realm of speculation. Teams using precision fiber optic gyroscopes under vacuum conditions report no detectable torsion signals from spin sources when retesting earlier positive claims, like seeking a faint radio broadcast in a noisy city, the slightest change in equipment or shielding can make the station vanish. Emerging quantum sensors, such as atom interferometer gyroscopes and nitrogen vacuum probes may eventually reach the sensitivity needed to test torsion field predictions. Progress in unified theories of quantum gravity could clarify whether torsion represents a physical degree of freedom or is purely mathematical developing explicit torsion wave equations and coupling constants would enable concrete experimental designs. Resolving the torsion field puzzle could revolutionize our understanding of space-time structure and reveal new modalities for information transfer. Proposed space-based gyroscope arrays aim to detect cosmological torsion backgrounds, if they exist at all, like upgrading from an old metal detector to a ground-penetrating radar. Only with the right technology can you definitively confirm if treasure lies buried 